So, Gary, an opening day victory against Lincoln City. What was your assessment of that? Um, it was lots of positives and lots of things to improve on. Um, I think we we studied them a little bit in a couple of their preseason games and thought how we could how we could nullify their their threats and how they like to play out. And um, we did a bit of work on that Thursday, Friday, and I think. I think that came into fruition on on Saturday in the first half hour. I think we got our rewards from how we set out a bit of a you know a high press and and limited their keeper to to hitting it long really and then up and trying to force trying to force them playing out playing through us. I think we set about our our game from the start to to press high and to stop them playing out, limit limit the goalkeeper's options. And, you know, he ended up forcing forcing play. We were winning winning it back if he if he went long and trying to force it into strikers and midfielders. And, and you know, we, we picked them off really, went, pressed high, won the ball back in dangerous areas in the final third, really. And that's where we got our first couple of goals from. Um, so to the, the game plan, the start went really well. Got ourselves a couple of goals up and then, what we didn't plan for was for them to get a man sent off, especially a keeper, and uh, they had to take an outfield player off, and it, it it killed our flow a little bit, to be honest. And and fair play to them, they started asking us questions, and and they were really brave in possession on the ball, and their rotations were good, so it was caused us a bit of problems, and and the lads couldn't quite work out how to. You know how to how to adapt to it and and, and work at work it out and we're coming at half time quite lucky to be still two up and um, they hit the bar with a good effort and um we regrouped a little bit you know tried to try to de deal with what what they'd changed for the last 10 15 minutes of the first half and put the messages out there for the lads to you know uh communicate more really you know it was more it was more about Jack Goodman, our number nine, was was really good, but but he he, he kind of like out of possession got a little bit confused after the after the red card, and he could have been helped. He could have been helped by the central midfielders behind him, communicating him, you know, what way to show them, what way to screen, and as I say, their their movement was was pulling our centre midfielders out of position, and the success we had from the first half hour really was our shape our shape out of possession, pressing high, winning the ball back. And once our two young centre midfielders, I have to say that Will Flint and then just come into the under 16 season. So, you know, so he's in his summer holidays at school, just finished his year 10. So he was really good. Um, Josh Lynn has been really good for the last two weeks of pre-season and calm in possession, sees a pass. And I have to say them, them two, them two were, were really good. And, just showed a, a little bit of naiveness at times to follow the man rather than keep the shape. And uh, that's where Lincoln picked us off a little bit and, and they've got some really clever players and they were getting into striker seats a little bit too easy, whether that was the centre forward or the wide ones and breaking lines quite easy, to be fair, during, in the second half. And then then we made a change and Corey, Corey and then Alex Fletcher come on and, you know, look, against the runner play be like we had a couple of chances on the counter to seal it but then Corey gets the third goal from a little bit against the runner play which eased it a little bit for for 10 15 minutes and then we had a couple of chances where we should, we really should have seen it off you know uh, I mean Skagger had a good header saved um I think we had a free kick Mike Mike Nesbitt was really close with a free kick and uh and then we made it really difficult for ourselves our ball retention wasn't good enough um we got ourselves into a position where then it's about managing the game and being good in possession and moving the ball fast and letting the ball do the work really and uh that's where we fell a little bit short technically i think we just needed to be a little bit tidier cleaner in how we moved the ball how we how we found the spare man and couldn't really do that and we we made Lincoln look really good second half, and they were they were they were brave. They had ten men, and, and they come out and, and played and played and played. And um, we we should have it should have been a lot more comfortable. But then late on, we've conceded two goals from set plays, 
won a free kick more or less in a corner, the position of a corner. So you defend it like a corner. And then the second one, a corner, back post headers. And the first one, we're not dealing with a second ball again, which was evident to see against Newcastle and Thorne. Um, and then the second one, a header at the back post where our centre back should comfortably deal with it. You know, they're uh, defending that back post zone and got out jumped by someone smaller than him, you know, and he's got to be braver and put his head on that. And then we see the game off comfortably, but made it hard for ourselves, but lots and lots of positives to build on. Um, we've only had a short pre-season because obviously we missed two and a half weeks with a bit of a COVID outbreak where a lot of the lads were isolating. Six of the boys had the illness. So some of them have come back yesterday, only having probably two weeks training in them. Corey, to be fair, he missed he missed a whole chunk. He had to isolate because we were shut down. And then halfway through the isolation period, he he actually he actually got the illness. So he he was isolating for a period of sixteen days in total. So to come back and play a half against Fawn and then be chucked on yesterday for nearly a half and to get us the winning goal was great for him. So it's just about building all the lads' fitness up now and growing on the performance. Can we get a good can we get can that 35 minute period from yesterday be 60 for next week so where we where we're really good and we're really at it and then just be a little bit more robust and and you know not easy not not concede so easy in the periods where we're under a bit of pressure um but as i said we're, we're delighted with the win because lincoln are a great outfit at under 18s level now they've really up the ante in their recruitment in in uh, in having good facilities to to out to you know impress players and and it really helps with their recruitment with their their digs they're like private school fifteen lads living together in digs and a brand new training ground so it's a it's a real carrot for for players coming from cat one cat two clubs so it's a it was a, it's a it's a good win as I say first half with eleven men for half an hour we were comfortably, comfortably the better team and kept picking them off and should have probably been 3-4 up. Yeah, and um, Owen Scattergood now is officially signed and obviously started in the first competitive game. What what does he add to your, your team? Owen adds... Um, I look at Owen and I just see a lad that need, needs work, needs work with his out-possession stuff, with his pressing, um, needs needs to learn the how relentless and fit you have to be but on the flip side of that his qualities are quite natural i see i see you know in a, a naturally gifted player um and i think if i can coach him a few bits and bobs to you know really be ruthless in his in his finishing when he gets an opportunity he's a natural finisher but if he's really gets the gets the you know how yeah how ruthless it, it had you have to be to to succeed in the game then I think he could go he could go up a he could go up a level and we've only had him in a few weeks as I say and he had a good pre-season in terms of his returns he's got his numbers with goals four goals in in three or four games and to be fair a couple of them three of them games were only half games so um his, his numbers were good and his chances were good. And like I say, he's good on the eye. He, he, he glides. He's got good balance. He's got a really good physique for a footballer. And, you know, I'm re really happy to get him on board and get him playing for us. Seems like a good future for him as, as a head. Um, and on the injury front as well, Tom Henson, Tavs, Ethan Harrison were missing at the weekend. And I think um, Will Hollings limps off at one point as well. How are they all looking? Will Hollins limps off at one point in every game, so <laughs> I won't worry about that one. He he he'll be fine. He gets knocks and he he grinds through them. He'll be fine. Tom Henson, Tom Henson um, got a, got a solid kick against Thorn on his ankle that he injured last year. I think at first he feared that it was the worst again, but on on um, assessment from the physio, you know, it's hopefully nowhere near as bad as before. And it's it's the first it's the first solid kick he's had on it, and you know sometimes that does you the world of good because you know you 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 fit again, your ankle can come through a 
a role or a, or a solid tackle and hopefully we'll see him out there again soon. Um, Tavs was a bit ill during the week, so Tavs had to stay at home and uh, he had a, had a, a COVID test because he had some symptoms, but, you know, thankfully it come back negative, but it took a couple of days to get his result back. Um, so he'll be back in tomorrow training and, and, you know, available for selection for next week. Um, Ethan Harrison's back out on the grass now, which is a positive after a bit of a freak accident injury during pre-season. He dropped a, dropped a 20 kilo plate on his, on his foot in the gym when he was, he was training hard during his off season. So broke his big toe and crushed the toenail. So that was a, that was more a case of just waiting for the time that the fracture clinic put on him to, to say when he can start weight bearing and running again. So, you know, he's, but he's trained now three or four times and he looks like he's going to hit the ground running. He's a, He's a bit of a specimen of a centre forward, physical, good physical presence. Uh, so we look forward to getting him back involved as well. 